Welcome to Creating a Winning Resume. This module will discuss several topics on resume writing, such as what makes a successful resume, styles of resume, content of resume, and the don'ts of re resume writing, as well as bloopers and blunders in resume writing. Be able to buy a resume. No one can do it for you. You will have to create it on your own. However, once completed, it will showcase your education, skills, and experience. A resume is a personal document that changes and grows as you do in life and in your career. Styles and types of resume writing. They are chronological, functional, and combination. The meaning for chronological is it will list jobs and education in reverse chronological order meaning present to last. A functional type of resume doesn't follow a chronological order and omits names of companies, educational history, and all dates. It focuses on skills and abilities to, pre to present them in a clear and concise manner, usually in clusters. The third style is a combination, which is simply a combination of the chronological and functional formats. This format allows one to present one's skills and education and abilities in an effective manner to help the reader, the employer, to see uh, some sort of order and chronological history to one's experiences. Types of resume formats. Oh, in case you are wondering, we recommend the combination format style to write your resume. Before you start your resume, ask yourself the following questions. Are you a good, re a good problem solver? Why would a company hire you? Will you be committed to the company position? Think about how you can increase the company's bottom line. Put yourself in the shoes of the employer. Would you want to hire you? These are all things that you must think about before writing your resume. Think of your resume being a document or a puzzle that is constantly changing as you change with experience and maturity. Remember, your resume is never done. However, documenting your attributes such as goals, education, experience, and skills will allow you to have a resume that will be organized, focused, and showcase your current education and experience to fit any job you qualify for. It will all come together like a puzzle. Common mistakes on resumes, typos and grammars. 150 senior executives said that 34% of the resumes they had received and reviewed contained typos and grammar, while another 22% were either too long or too wordy. It is vital for you to have someone or a, a two people review your resume. A quick bit of advice would be to be able to read your resume backwards to be able to find grammar or misspelling. Continuing with blunders on resumes. Listing personal information is not necessary on a resume. Information such as height, weight, age, sex, or photos. In addition to, to that, Hobbies and interests on a resume are usually irrelevant. However, if those interests or hobbies pertain to your objective or the position you apply for, definitely list them. Lastly, details on every task that you had at a previous job. Try to focus on outcomes of your responsibilities as well as details of your past work experience that relate to the current position you seek. Continuing on the section of blunders on resumes, excessive bragging, being a know-it-all on your resume, outdated information such as high school activities and honors that you experienced while in high school. Try to stay current on your resume. Stay with experiences that are that go back seven to ten years if necessary as long as they relate to your objective and education and experience. Lying on a resume. Trust that if you lie on 
on the resume or stretch the truth it will reveal itself in the interview honesty is the best policy additional blunders in resume writing when identifying gaps in work history simply be honest and indicate that gaps were due to personal reasons do not be brutally honest like one candidate who indicated that she was incarcerated for 10 years for killing her husband this was the reason for her her gap in her work history also being professional on a resume make sure that you do not use cute fonts on your resume also indicate personal links on a resume or use child childish email addresses all this screams being unprofessional now I'd like to focus on what not to include on a resume some of these may sound repetitive if they do that's good because it means that you're paying attention do not include the following information on a resume do not include personal information marital status any hard luck stories as well as any list any shortcomings such as disabilities or the ability not to be able to drive also do not include any detail that points that paints you in a negative image about yourself such as never have any job do not include any information about your height weight or religion or mention your family members if you remember these don'ts on resume writing you are well on your way to having a winning resume the essential pieces of a winning resume moving forward now let's look at a winning teacher resume please notice in the headings the objective education profile experience added information as well as personal details also please note the skills descriptive verbs that one has chosen to be able to describe and give emphasis to the experience that this candidate has the following is a skills inventory list please take time and write down the skills or print this page to circle the skills that apply to you skills such as advising people handling complaints coaching writing reports try to incorporate these skills onto your resume good luck continuing the inventory list other examples include proposing ideas speaking in public raising funds delegating responsibilities interviewing prospective employees negotiating these are all skills that can be listed on a resume wrapping up the inventory list section of this presentation the inventory list continues by identifying other skills such as making decisions selling ideas teaching instructing training individuals developing plans for projects knowledge of community and government affairs to only name a few there are many more on this particular list make sure that you include all your skills that apply to you and that you need to be able to incorporate these skills onto your resume now that we have discussed the inventory skills the following is a list of action verbs to help you further provide detail on your skills and experiences on a resume carefully look at these verbs to be able to help you prepare your resume finally creating an effective resume make sure that you pay attention to detail do the basics proofread also construct an effective resume make sure that you keep the reader in mind as you write your resume customize your resume focus on what what you can provide to the employer and be professional